Hello children. In this video lecture, I will explain you figures of speech. But the question arises in your mind, what is figures of speech? A figures of speech is a device to make the language more charming and effective than it is in its simple form. It is a deviation from the literal use of the language to produce a great effect. A figures of speech is a phrase and word having different meanings than its literal meanings. It conveys meanings by identifying or comparing one thing to another, which has an association or feeling or meaning familiar to the audience. That is why it is helpful in creating the vivid rhetorical effect, various rhetorical effect. Why the poet uses figures of speech? The figures of speech enhances the author's creation. The effective use of figures of speech brings to life what would have been mere words, phrases and sentences. They express the author's intent and take the reader on a journey through what he or she experienced or imagined or witnessed at a specific period or periods in time. It brings beauty, emphasis and clarity of the poet's thought. It allows us to assess, interpret and critically analyze not only the writer's attempt but also his or her purpose. Now children, here for your reference, I have uh, divided our figures of speech based on its types. There are many types of figures of speech. Classification here in front of you. First, based on similarity, which includes simile, metaphor, personification and apostrophe. Second, based on contrast, antithesis, epigram, oxymoron, paradox, irony, euphemism, detorts. Third, based on association or substitution, matronymy, synecdoche. Fourth, based on arrangement of words or contrast, climax, anticlimax, interrogation, exclamation, hyperbole, Transferred epithet, tautology, repetition, anastrophe. And last, based on sound, alliteration, onomatopoeia, pun, and internal rhyme. Now, let's see each and every figure of speech in detail with examples. First, we will see figures of speech based on similarity. First is simile. In this figure of speech, there is a direct comparison between the two different objects, things, etc. with at least one point in common using as like or so. Means in this figure of speech, children, you have to see that if these three words, if, if it is used in a line poems line or in a sentence then that sentence is called of simile figures of speech example first her face is like the moon second he is as brave as a lion third i am so thirsty that my throat is as dry as a bone fourth he behaves like a silly mouse Fifth, the fact is as clear as crystal. In first sentence, face is compared with moon. Bravery, second sentence, bravery of lion is compared with him. Thirstiness, in third sentence, is compared with a, with a dry bone. Fourth sentence compares the behavior of he with a mouse 
and fifth fact is compared with crystal now metaphor in this figure of speech there is an implied comparison between two objects and both are taken granted as one means some one common characteristic is there first example the camel is the sheep of the desert it means how the camel swiftly walks in the desert same as the sheep floats on the water the news was a dagger to his heart means the news act as a dagger that it was so sad that the person got hurt due to it third he broke my heart means the behavior of him has broken the speaker's heart fourth rocket temples are the apex in stones means the carving of that temple tells a story fifth the mirror is the eye of the little god mirror always speaks truth a simile can be compressed or expressed in short form into a metaphor and a vice versa example he thought he fought like a lion here we have used the word li- like so this sentence is a of simile but the same thing if we write in a metaphor then we have to write like this he was a lion in the fight means he fought like lion so metaphor is an implied simile now personification person plus fiction means not real non living things in this figure so speech inanimate objects or abstract ideas are personified or spoken of as a living beings with human quality we can say in other words human action is given to non human or non living thing inanimate things are given life and personality example truth sits upon the lips of dying man truth is not going to sit but dying man never say lie second the city wears a garment of beauty his city is not going to wear any garment but the city has decorated beautifully for the occasion third the roses were smiling in the garden is the rose is not going to smile but the rose so many roses are there in the garden which made them beautiful so many roses has bloomed in the garden fourth the bird carries a message means a pigeon here pigeon used to carry a message the leaves went dancing and whirling means they were shaking with air so this kind of things are used in personification now apostrophe o plus somebody in this figure of speech there is a direct address to the dead or the absent or to the personified object or idea apostrophe implies both address and personification example oh god please help me means here the person had addressed the god second oh holy night that stars are brightly shining the speaker addressed to the holy night third roll on thou deep and dark ocean blue roll here the poet addresses the ocean fourth oh dream life is beautiful here address is given to the dream 
and fifth shakespeare you are really great here the poet is calling shakespeare the great person now second type of uh, figures of speech based on contrast paradox and epigram are given in this type para means truth dox means ridiculous in this kind of sentences whatever the idea is given it is possible while in epigram epi means surprise and gram means view statements means contracted contradictory idea which the poet has given is impossible let's see first of all paradox in this figure of speech a sentence contradicts its own idea when truth is revealed in a ridiculous manner it is paradox the statement appears absurd or outwardly contradictory but in reality it is well founded or quite sound first there is no one so poor as a wealthy miser means a wealthy person is a miser second a teacher must be cruel to be kind and teacher sometimes take a hard step for some kind purposes i know one thing that i know nothing means <clears throat> person may be not aware of each and everything <coughs> this is the beginning of the end contradiction is here the second sentence is false the first sentence is true two opposite things are here now epigram in this figures of speech when opposite views are presented to create surprise it is epigram the language of epigram must be marked by brevity and wit example the child is the father of the man it is not possible children second so this is called epigram second if we don't end war war will end us it is word natural if you do war it always gives us hazardous results third live simply so that others may live simply live means you are going to Uh, share your things with them all will get their share if you live simply fourth i am starting with the man in the mirror in the mirror means i am starting with myself and fifth i am not young enough to know everything means the person is not mature enough oxymoron oxy means opposite moron means word in this figure of speech two contradictory terms are united to give the expression a point or two contradictory qualities describe one and the same thing or a person or two opposite words are found together in the same sentence when you get two opposite words in a same sentence children that figure of speech is called oxymoron example ankit is regularly irregular student of our class second my life is an open secret regularly irregular open secret these two opposites are using together in the sentence third we are busy doing nothing fourth the climax of the play was tragically comic fifth these ideas are simply complicated for us Now next antithesis. Anti means opposite. Thesis means thought, idea. Antithesis means setting of one thing against another. In this figure of speech, two words or sentiments or opposite meanings are used. In a striking contrast, in the same sentence for the emphasis.
when the two words or opposite ideas are joined by a conjunction it will always be antithesis example man proposes god disposes means man gives proposal and god disapproves it many are called but few are selected third old values are going new values are coming opposite ideas old new fourth our loss is your cane fifth speech is silver but silence is golden understood children now let us lie not or negation plus positive in this figure of speech a negative is used to express a positive meaning negative sentence gives positive stress to the meaning of a sentence means negative word is used in any of the sentence in any poem that line is called litotes example i am not a beginner in teaching means very much experienced in teaching second she was not unhappy with her new car means thrilled or surprised by getting a car third i am not an ordinary man means extraordinary man the businessman are no more fool means intelligent his ideas are not immortal at all means forgettable next irony iron means positive me negative in this figure of speech the real meaning is exactly opposite of what is literally conveyed means what the poet says the meaning is extremely exactly opposite a positive sentence gives negative stress to the meaning of a sentence example you are a real friend to leave me in lurch means to leave during difficulty so this is irony second you have made a fine exhibition of yourself means you have demonstrated whatever the things which is not required in front in front of all third of course these politicians were honorable last year means now they are not having any respect amongst the people fifth you are the people and wisdom shall die with you means they are very cruel and they are not kind so wisdom and they are not very witty you too so wisdom will die with them fifth a pilot has a fear of heights means a pilot always flies high and if he has a fear he cannot travel he cannot fly a fly an aeroplane euphemism you means less fam means painful and pleasant in this figure of speech agreeable or pleasant words are used to express disagreeable or unpleasant or harsh ideas when a sentence express an unpleasant event idea etc in less unpleasant manner it is euphemism example you are telling me a fairy tale means you are telling a lie after my departure i shall always be remembered means after the person's death third his guest of his majesty means he is the prisoner in the kingdom fourth these are his last whispering words means at the time of the person's death whatever he spoke fifth she is on the streets means she does not have any home she is homeless now third kind of figures of speech based on association or substitution metonymy meto please sub, meto means substitution nemi means name in this figures of speech there is a change of name 
an object is denoted denoted by the name of something which is associated with it means the name we are not going to write but the position may or may or the object we are going to write there are several varieties of metonymy depending on kinds of association example first you must address the chair means here the sign of a person or a thing is used to denote the person or the thing is symbolized here the chair is used for the chairman second i drank the whole glass means here the container for the thing is contained means i drank the whole meal third he carried fire and spar instrument here is the agent fire and sword these are the instrument of war i have read milton name of the author for his work is used here for his book fifth he is the hope of the family here the feeling or passion for the object or the person is used hope means is the strength of the family six we rested beneath the shade here an effect for a cause or a cause for an effect is given shade is referred to the tree in this figures of speech in this figures of speech it is a substitution of name now synactic Sedak means part, tap means whole. Understanding of one thing by means of another. In this figure of speech, a part is used to designation the whole, or the whole is designate a part. This figure of speech usually consists in one noun for another related to it. There are various varieties of it. first he has six mouths to feed means here a part or species is used to denote the whole or mouths here refers to the persons second he is poor creature creature is referred to the man third he was in ions material is used to denote the thing made of it ions means here chain made of iron fourth he is the newton an individual for a class or a proper noun for a common noun is used here newton means he is the scientist of india here concrete or for cons for the abstract or vice versa ideas are used it is synecdoche means substitution of word fourth based on arrangement of words or contrast climax means ascending order This is a Greek word climax it means a ladder in this figure of speech words or a series of ideas are arranged in ascending order of importance example i came i ran i won the things are done in an order second sings plays and entertains me right night and day third he saw he wished and to the prize aspire fourth he knelt and learned leaned on the chair he knelt and leaned on the chair he prayed and felt asleep fifth i have no rest no joy nor peace
एंटी क्लाइमैक्स मीन्स डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर और बेथोस मीन्स ल्यूडिक्यूरस क्रिएटिंग लाफ्टर डिसेंट फ्रॉम द हायर टू द लोअर इन दिस फिगर सो स्पीच द वर्ड्स और आइडियाज आर अरेंज इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर of importance for satire or ridicule laughter example i die i faint i fall these things never happened in life but it is written for the sake of fun for the sake of laughter second he preaches like a saint speaks like a man and acts like a devil means the person is behaving means he is speaking like a saint and speaks like a man but person when at the time of action he acts like a devil third he lost his family his job and his house plans fourth life is a journey from ocean to sea to river and to pond ultimately interrogation rhetorical question in this figures of speech a question is asked not to get an answer but to make the statement more effective when questions are asked without expecting any answer it is called interrogation note here children ordinary interrogation a question is not called interrogation ordinary questions which we form normally it is not called in the poem in figures of speech as an interrogation figures of speech examples who can say who i am second what kind of place you have brought me my son third can you get oil out of sand fourth do you think i can listen all day to such stuff fifth how will you explain the life now exclamation it is a strong expression of feeling in this figures of speech an exclamatory form is used to make a statement emphatic em, emphatic means need to give more power it is used to draw attention through surprise examples of exclamation what a horrible place what a piece of work is man how sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank means the river bank was very beautiful ah you will miss us fifth father you come again now next is hyperbole hyper in sex are great in bold means say or statement in this figure so speech things are represented as much greater or lesser much better or worse than they really are means the person is not going to speak actual things they will overstate it or exaggerate it or kept it in a low category example that tea is icy cold means the tea is very cold second she has wept an ocean of tears means she has cried a lot third he has tons and tons of money means he is very wealthy is very rich fourth all the perfumes of arabia will not sweeten this little hand means this kind of little hand cannot give a fragrance means all the perfumes of arabia come to the secondary place 
in front of little hands. Fifth, the blood ran down to his toes when he got very angry. Now, transferred epithet. Transferred means transferred. Epithet means feeling or adjective. In this figure of speech, an epithet adjective is transferred from the real world to another which is closely associated in the same sentence. When human feeling is transferred to non-living thing or inanimate object, it is transferred epithet. Example, I slept on a restless bed. Means the, means the condition of the mind or the situation was like that. The person cannot sleep properly. Again, the night was sleepless for him. Means the person was too much disturbed. He saw that the leaves were sad. Means the nature was not in bloom. Fourth, she threw away the unhappy flowers. The stale flowers the person has thrown. Fifth, he spent some happy days in Europe. Means the person has spent good days in Europe. Now, tautology. In this figure of speech, two words have one meaning. That is unnecessary repetition of the same idea or fact in different words in order to add force or clearance to a sentence. The poet has used this kind of figures of speech. Example, sign of the filth and dirt. Both are the synonyms. Means in this kind of figures of speech we can say synonyms are used in one line. Second, the fairy went remote and far away. Third, all bright and glittering. Fourth, it is foolish to waste out time uselessly. Fifth, Swaraj is our privilege and birthright. Next, repetition. In this figure of speech, there is unnecessary recurrence or repetition of the same word or phrase for the sake of emphasis or musical effect in the poem. It is used for the musical effect, right? Example, two and two make four. Blow, blow the winter wind. Third, so little they rose, so little they fell. Fourth, up, 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 the life climbs up. Fifth, to the Muslims, I am Hindu and to the Hindu, I am Brahmin. So, this kind of things, repetition of words is used in this kind of figures of speech to create musical effect. Now, anastrophe. Ana means back. Straf in means to turn. Anastrophe means a turning back or about. In this figure of speech, the normal word order of the subject, the verb and the object is changed. It is also known as inversion. Ins mean not. Verse means statement, not in a statement, proper order. When a statement is not written in correct order, it is also called inversion. Example, subject, verb, object. We write mostly sentences like this. Example is given here, I like potatoes. It might be changed into this kind of figures of speech like this. Object, subject and verb. Potatoes, I like. Second, powerful you have become the dark side I sense in you. Means if we write in correct order, we can write like this. You have become powerful. I Sense in you the dark side. Same as third, patience I like. If we write in correct order, it should be written as I like patience. Fourth, excited the children were when Santa entered the room. The children were excited when Santa entered the room. This should be the correct order. But 
the poet poet has created effect by changing the position of subject verb and object fifth bright he was not means he was not bright now last classification based on sound first in it one plural plus one means one word has two meanings in this figures of speech there is a play or on various meanings of word and it is used in such a way that it is capable for more than one application to produce humorous effect it is used as a joke example is life worth living it depends upon the liver liver means here one who lives and a part of a body second can the leopard change its spots spots means here dots also the design of its body and a place third i like tall stories even though false stories means here tales and floors fourth these terrorist lies in the jail lies means telling lies and stays fifth the tallest building in town is the library it has thousands of stories stories means here books as well as floors next internal rhyme in this figures of speech rhyming words are used within a line and not merely at the end of the lines to add musical effect or rhythm example every day for food or play second the ice was here the ice was there third summer pools could hardly cool the fever of my bro fourth he found his way home he does not like to roam fifth i lost my dog in the midst of fog alliteration in this figures of speech words which begin with the same consonant or vowel sound are repeated in the same sentence to create melodious effect in this figures of speech a letter is repeated means a sound is repeated example the bright bird flew bur bur second she was shivering with shock sh sure is repeated in this sentence third with a simple sign of sound something is mysterious sir so is repeated here fourth waves of shadow went over the wheat what is repeated here fifth if fraud or force attained his hands for is repeated here now the last figures of speech onomatopoeia on mato means substitution po sound on substitution of sound in this figures of speech the sound of the words is made to suggest or echo the sense when words suggest the sense of sound it is onomatopoeia example the aeroplane is zooming in the sky the word zooming it shows that this is onomatopoeia second the open window shuts with a bang bang indicate sound third the loose house sheet clatter and clang clatter and clang these words are used for sound fourth blaring from the branches of tree very is used here for sound fifth they hear the tolling bell tolling word is used here for sound i hope you have understood all the explanation of the figures of speech children please write it down all the rules in your notebook make a shortcut key for your revision and write with legible and neat handwriting in your notebook children thank you